Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Passive income. I built this YouTube channel off of passive income, and I never fully understood how powerful it is until this year to where you're literally making money without doing a single thing at all. Going to a job and making a good money is pretty good. Getting a bonus here or there is pretty good. Finding money in your pocket when you're washing clothes is pretty good. But the feeling of passive income, getting a check every single month by doing absolutely nothing is literally the best feeling in the world. And one of those ways that I'm generating passive income is through dividend investing, where I invest into the stock market, to where I invest into companies that pay out monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually doesn't matter i invest into these companies that pay me out mostly every single month or every single quarter to where i'm able to generate over 410 dollars and 32 cents in dividends yes that is how much money i made and i'm going to show you guys in this video what stocks I invest into that pays dividends to where I'm able to generate that much money. So if you guys are interested into dividend investing, how about you check out this cool app called Weeble. Right now, if you sign up and deposit $100, now you can receive three free stocks valued up to $1,600 each. Who knows, you could probably receive one of these dividend stocks that I'm gonna talk about in this video to help you get you started on your dividend investing journey to where now you can create passive income. Also, before we dive into the video, make sure that you guys hit the thumbs up on this video. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine just by hitting a simple thumbs up. And if you so happen to stick to the end of this video, how about you, you know, share it with your friends, share it to Facebook, share it on Instagram, share wherever you wanna share it. Send it in, the, in, in your group thread to show your friends on how you planning on generating passive income in the future. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on my Robin Hood account. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But here we are. This is my Robin Hood account. This is where I do most of my dividend investing. Right now, my account value is at $38,445.34. That is amazing. Today, I made over $300 alone, a little bit under $350. But that is an amazing day being up almost a full percent. On the week, I had a pretty good week. I'm up 4.41%, $1,625.08. Now, that is an amazing week for me. But check this out, guys. Check this out. This month alone, I am up 16.02%. I'm up $5,308.75. Yes, that is the power of investing to the stock market getting in while it's early, investing into good companies, not just dividend companies, but great companies first that just so happen to pay dividends. I'm, and I'm gonna show you what companies pay me out in this video. It's a total of nine that pay me out in this video. So make sure you stick to the end so you can catch what companies are paying me out. I think all the companies that I invest into are pretty good. Some are great and are amazing. And some are, you know, a little bit risky so I could grow my portfolio a little faster. So I'm, I'm a little bit on the risky side, but most of them are great companies. So if we go all the way back, I'm not gonna make you watch all of my videos before but the first month of this year was an amazing month it was pre-pandemic stock market but i made 69 dollars and 11 cents worth of dividends in the month of january in february i made 32 dollars and 57 cents bringing my total to 101 dollars and 68 cents in march i made 38 dollars and 49 cents worth of dividends bringing me to a total of 140 dollars and 17 cents in April, I made $20.09 for a total of $160.26. May, I made $29.59 for a total of $180.83. In June, I made a total of $32.23, bringing me to a total of $222.06. July, you know, that's when things start going downhill. You know what I'm talking about. But that's the sweet thing about dividends is that when it, even when things are going downhill, these companies are gonna still pay you out. So in July, I made $38.07, bringing me to a total of $260.13. August, $28.43, bringing me to $288.56. 
September $35.87, bringing me to a total of $324.43. October, I got paid a total of $52.78, bringing me to a total of $373.21. And in November, I'm gonna go through every single stock that paid me out in the month of November. That got me to the grand total that I'm gonna uh, tell you at the end of this video. So make sure that you stick all the way through the end. But one thing that I wanna bring up is that yes, there was a pandemic that happened and a lot of stocks went down. While those stocks was going down, I got paid out dividends from these companies that I'm investing into. So if I continue to build this passive income to, to where I'm making more every single month, eventually the stock market could crash again and I'm still gonna get paid these dividends by investing into companies called dividend aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats are companies that have been inside the S&P 500 and increased their dividend payout over the last 25 years years and then i also invest into companies that are dividend kings those are companies that have increased their dividend payout over the last 50 years and has been inside the s p 500 so these companies have been through recessions pandemics lord knows what and they are still increasing their dividends every single year so these are companies that you want to invest in to solidify your passive income over time but let's go ahead and dive into what companies paid me out this month Okay, this is the first company that paid me out, AT&T, tickle symbol T. Uh, they paid me out on November 2nd. The great thing about AT&T is that they are so close to becoming dividend aristocrats. I think they increased their dividend payouts over the last 21 years. So they got about four more years to go in order to become dividend aristocrats. Now, at the time I owned 16 shares, they paid out 52 cents per share and for a grand total of $8.32. If we take a look at AT&T, it's at $29.03. Now I have 20 shares of AT&T. So they paid me for having 16, now I have 20 shares of AT&T. And if we scroll down, they have a dividend yield of 7.17%. That is a sweet, amazing, large dividend yield right there from a great company, AT&T. I think it's a good, I think it's a pretty good company, AT&T. Not just because of the dividends, but, but because of what they're doing. So with AT&T, that's gonna bring my total to $8.32. The next company that paid me out is AGNC. This is a real estate REIT. At the time, I owned 100 shares of AGNC. Yes, I finally got 100 shares of AGNC. It paid me out 12 cents per share. So a total of $12 AGNC paid me out with. If we scroll over to AGNC, um, that price is at $15.15. .15. Now I have $102. So I do take these dividends that they pay me out and I reinvest them back into the companies. The ones that I see that have, that have a good value at the time, I reinvest my dividends back into those companies. That's how I'm able to increase my dividends every single month. Now, my market value from AGNC is $1,586. I'm currently up 9.45%, amazing. And they have a dividend yield that is double digits 10.73 percent real estate REITs are dangerous companies that have dividends that in double digits are pretty dangerous but this is a REIT so most REITs have higher dividends than, than normal than other ETFs so that's why I've been investing to AGNC is this the best company on my list probably not is this the one that pays the most dividends it is so with AGNC paying me out $12, that's gonna bring my total to $20.32. The next one on my list is probably the most famous stock out there. You've heard of it, you're probably using their products, which is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. At the time I owned 10.36 shares worth of Apple, paying out 20 cents per share. So I got a total of $2.12. If we take a look at Apple, over the year, they're up 74%. As Apple goes up, they had a stock split. You should receive more dividends from Apple over time, just from their historic stats of them going up in value every single year. Now, Apple, I'm down $6. Mm, that's nothing. I'm gonna make that back from Apple in no time. But they have a dividend yield of 0.67%. So they don't have the highest dividend yield. It's not even a full percent. But they have room to grow to also increase their dividends over time. They didn't start high, they started low. They have room to increase their dividends over time where that stock value go up. Now the market cap of Apple is $1.98 trillion. Whoo! 1.98 trillion dollars that is a lot of money 
they have a lot of cash on hand so i think apple has a lot more room to grow who knows they could get back up to 500 dollars again have another stock split and their dividend yield can increase every single year so that is apple so with apple paying me two dollars and twelve cents that's going to be my total to twenty two dollars and forty four cents the next one is tickle symbol o uh realty income this is the monthly paying dividend stock this stock pays every single month the other ones that pay every single month was agnc that one pay uh, every single month at&t is quarterly apple is quarterly but uh but tickle symbol oh this one is a monthly paying dividend stock so every every month i'm going to be receiving dividends from realty income at the time i own eight shares paying me out 23 cents per share for a total of a dollar and 88 cents if we take a look at realty income i am down two percent twelve dollars and they have a dividend yield of 4.42 percent this is also a real estate reit that's why it's so high at 4.42 percent it is this is the monthly dividend stock that pretty much everyone talks about on YouTube. It's a pretty good REIT that I'm going to continue to invest into into the future. So I'm going to probably grab another share here sooner or later. So with Realty Income paying me out $1.88, that's going to bring my total to $24.32. The next one is PSEC Prospect Capital. I have a total of seven shares. This one pays out six cents per share. For, I got paid out a total of 42 cents. This one is also a monthly paying dividend stock. I think I got uh, two free shares from PSEC from you, know, you guys signing up using Robinhood. That's why my average cost is so low at $1.56. And this one has a dividend yield of 13.02%. Yes, this is another double digit dividend stock. This is more on the risky side. A lot of dividend investors have this inside of their portfolio because of their high dividends. It's the, the best company the market cap is two billion dollars compared to apple two trillion dollars it's a big difference it's not a bad company but if you get in at the right time and get it and get a pretty sweet deal on psec i don't see anything wrong but the dividend yield is pretty high which is a warning to most investors but if you get in at a good price you can't go wrong so with psec paying me out 42 cents that's going to bring my total to 24 dollars and 74 cents the next one that paid me out was Viper Energy, ticker symbol VNOM. I got I had the time I had 10 shares, paid out 10 cents per share. So a total of $1. If we take a look at VNOM, I no longer own this company. I sold it. I got rid of it. They do have a pretty good dividend yield of 9.07%. But I really wasn't a believer in this company. I got in, made my profit, made some dividends from it, and got rid of it. So yeah, I did make some good money from Venomon. I bought it when it was down, kind of went up a little bit, and I got rid of it. So that is Venom paying me out $1. So that's gonna bring my total to $25.74. The next one is Clorox. This is a quarterly paying dividend stock, ticker symbol CLX. This is an amazing company. Clorox makes everything not just the bleach that you use they they got the charcoal briquettes the ones uh that you barbecue with they make everything all right and i can't even go through the list if you want to see that list go check out one of my other videos where i talked about clorox it is an amazing company so at the time i own 2.2 shares of clorox paying me at one dollar and 11 cents per share so a total of two dollars and 49 cents take a look at clorox on the year they have killed it ever since the pandemic news came out everyone had to disinfect so their stock went up that was a pretty good pandemic stock to own at the time i got in at a pretty good time so i'm up 13 percent on clorox of 53 dollars and six cents they have a dividend yield of 2.14 percent i believe clorox is a dividend aristocrat if not they might be dividend kings but they are very close to being dividend kings if not, i have to take another look but i think clorox is a dividend aristocrat great company so with clorox so with clorox paying me out two dollars and 49 cents that's going to bring my total to 28 dollars and 23 cents the next one is the etf ticker symbol pey this is a power share high yield equity dividend etf I own 70 shares of PEY, paying out six cents per share, so I got paid out $4.28. This is also a monthly paying dividend stock. That's what I like about PEY. Right now, I am up 13% on PEY, $146.63, and they have a pretty sweet dividend yield of 4.36%. I'm going to continue to invest into PEY. Right now, I have 71 shares. I eventually want to have 100 shares of PEY um, later down the line, so watch out for that video. 
So with PY paying me out $4.28, that brings my total to $32.51. And the last one, the other great monthly paying dividend stock, SPHD. At the time, I own 30 shares, paying me out 15 cents per share for $4.60. This is another S&P 500 high dividend, low volatile ETF. This one is also a monthly paying dividend stock. I got 30 shares and I'm down 7.78%. I got in on SPHD pre-pandemic and it's still trying to recover it got a little ways to go it's on the path of recovery still got a little ways to go around 13 percent to catch up on the year but sphd i think it will recover within the next 365 days within the next year or so so i'm gonna hold on to this investment i'm gonna get 100 shares of pey first and then eventually get 100 shares of sphd before i can have this amazing growth um, dividend yield for SPHD is 4.9%. So with SPHD paying me out $4.60, that's gonna bring my total to $37.11, bringing me to a total for this year, $410.32. Yes, that is how much money I made in complete passive income this year. So if you made it to the end of this video, Dreamers, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next month dividend reveal. I think next month is going to be pretty, pretty good. If you like the video, make sure you share so that everyone can see. Also, in the comment section down below for engagement, I'd like for you guys to engage, to go down below and comment to tell me how many companies paid you out this month in dividends. You ain't got to say how much you made. I ain't trying to get inside your business or anything like that. But let me know how many companies paid you out. And if you're not a dividend investor and have been thinking about it, or if you're thinking about starting a portfolio, first-time investors, let me know which one of these companies are you interested in to invest in to start collecting some sweet dividends. Now, when you start getting dividends, don't withdraw that money or, and go spend it. You reinvest those dividends right back into the companies that paid you or right back into other stocks so that eventually the snowball effect could start taking place and start off as a little snowball and then it's going to get to a gigantic snowball from you reinvesting those dividends until eventually you start getting paid out more every single year and then eventually every single month and then eventually every single week. So make sure you are reinvesting those dividends. That is the smartest thing to do by far. You can't find anyone, anywhere, any financial advisor that would tell you, hey, nah, you don't need to reinvest your dividends. You good. Man, reinvest them dividends, all right? Yep, but yeah, that's just me giving my own self-advice to remind myself to keep reinvesting those dividends. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.